Now to a new series called Seven in Your Neighborhood. Each and every Friday, we are broadcasting live from somewhere in Metro Detroit, featuring the events and people in your community. Tonight, we are in center line, kicking off three days of fun. The Independence Festival is now underway at Memorial Park. Seven Action News anchor Dave Llewellyn is away from the desk, getting in on all the action and having a lot of fun at there too, Dave. And we've got a lot of action and a lot of fun for a lot of people here uh, in center line tonight. Very, very uh, interesting day to say the least so far, and it's going to continue into the night. This is really a terrific community, small community, but one that is uh, very family friendly, and they're partnering with Warren as well for a classic car cruise that's coming up tomorrow. But take a minute learn a little bit more about the community of Centerline. Well, everybody knows each other. Everybody's involved in the community. Dennis Champagne is the Centerline city manager. We have uh, just over 9,000 residents in our community. Uh, it's a bedroom community, small town, a lot of mom and pop businesses. Haney's restaurant is a great example. We just serve quality food and we prepare it in, in the right way. Russ Haney has been running the breakfast joint since the 1980s. It's in an old Howard Johnson's. Russ's dad, Vern, worked at Hojo's when the franchise closed in 1972, so we bought it, turning it into Haney's. Another staple, Heinrichs. For over 30 years, they've been selling cake decorating and baking supplies. One of the best places to get chocolate. Though Centerline is small, under two square miles, and rather quiet, it is surrounded by Michigan's third largest city, Warren. And tomorrow, the two communities are teaming up for their first ever Centerline Warren Classic Car Show and Cruise on Van Dyke, starting in the heart of Centerline. It makes it really special because um, you can work with two cities who have the same goals in mind, and that's to make sure that their residents are provided a great quality of life. Donna Weatherby serves on the Warren Area Chamber of Commerce and is part of the two-city planning team. That parade is going to be led by um, the 1926 La France fire truck that's owned by Centerline. The first ever fire truck was restored thanks to donations from the Centerline community. Next in line, the Grand Marshal, Vice President of General Motors, Dan Nicholson. We didn't expect it to be, be, be huge, but right now it looks like it's going to be a big car cruise. And here's the historic uh, fire engine uh, right in the parking lot here and along with it a Mercury Cougar. Now they're telling me that 100 cars will be in part of the Cruisin' 53 show tomorrow. That'll start at uh, 10 Mile and Van Dyke at noon tomorrow. The festival here in uh, Memorial Park continues until 11 o'clock tonight. The hours tomorrow, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. It continues Sunday as well. A lot of family fun. Kids and kids of all ages will find something enjoyable here. We've uh, enjoyed our time and hope you take time to check it out as well. We are live tonight in Centerline. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. Looks like a lot of fun and pretty impressive as well. All right, Dave, thank you.